Hi, this is Paul from paulbrockby.com and this is another one of my stock analysis videos from OTC stock. This time American Airs Inc. AAIRF. Now this is a technology company and uh, this could really change the 5G market. They are really developers of the um, EMR, the electromagnetic radiation. Um, technology that reduces those harmful, harmful effects of EMRs. Uh, so these are the first uh, and they're developing technology to uh, protect users of devices against that. So uh, this is cutting edge stuff. Now it's a cheap stock right now, still in development. Um, if they get this right though, this could be really, really, really cool. So it's, it's not been listed very long, uh, just over a year. This is the daily chart um, one thing I always like to see is on recent news during February, March 2021, we have had a lot more interest in this stock, a lot more volume as you can see there. If I just zoom out a bit, this volume, the average volume's really picked up a little bit now. Um, so, you know, when we go back, we've got, to, we've got to frame the chart really. We've got the highs after listing, we pulled back. We got these lows to form the top of this support zone here. We then came back up to test um, the previous eyes failed, but then that gives us another resistance zone up here. And then we had some recent uh, new, slightly lower lows uh, coming into January 2021. But then the volume started to pick up, and we really had a move out that was fantastic. You can see. When on the previous moves, we're very gappy, so people are just block buying. But then we get some reasonable price action here with more volume being traded. And we get what I call a nice pullback after an initial impulse move. So we, we I've put this uh, zone up here around 0 0.3114, 0 0.3229, uh, because this is where it tipped out a little bit here. But... The main thing is we had the surge in interest, it pulled back, we got a higher low, but also on a, from a FIB perspective, it pulled back between 0.5 and 0.618 to find that support. So that's really critical for me. It's a great FIB level. We just zoom in on this a bit now because this is key. Also, I use the 55 and 89 day moving averages, remember, uh, for, on these EMA clouds. Uh, we, we're in a bullish state when the grey goes above the pink, basically, uh, which is the 55 above the 89, and we are getting in that sort of situation right now. They're still overlapped, but for the first time, we are getting in that situation. So if this support holds, uh, there could be some good value here. But main thing for me is the average volumes picking up, which is really, really important. We've had that initial impulse move with that extra volume. It's pulled back on the profit taking, but that profit taking found a higher support zone than this did. The um, the 89 and 55 are those non-linear support zones which are holding right now. The FIB zones between 50 and 618, really, really key holding there. This starts to move up above 0.24. Uh, this should gain. So when, when you get this pullback against the main impulse move, you always look for a a higher high on the next impulse move so it could break this uh, this resistance zone uh, centered around 0 0.3200 because we've had that higher support it's almost like it's pulled back on a spring and it wants to go again the stochastic actually backs us up on that momentum you can see the false breakout uh, dots on the bottom there then we pull back against those and cross over in the oversold zone and we get that higher support so that's that's telling me it wants to return to that bullish state and get some more yellow dots there so we get over um, overbought again and we get those false breakouts in the overbought so everything technically is looking good for this it's an exciting sector 5g is the future uh, and these are looking at safety within that sector so this this is uh, a good looking stock if this support holds there could be some great value here. Hopefully that helps and I'll speak to you all really soon.